there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to tape and apply a whopper. All right, so the first thing is this right here. It's a, I forget what it's called. Oh, micropore, it's micropore. Um, I'll have to give credit to the girl that talks about it. Um, I forget her name right at the moment, so forgive me. Um, on Instagram, nobody has their regular name, so I can um, always have problems with that. <laughs> um, anyways, it's amazing, and I like it so much better than scar tape. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting off a piece of it, a strip. I just put it on my faucet. I cut off a strip like this, and see it's not shiny on this side like scar tape is. And then I find my part area and I lay it right here. I should have shown you before as well. But anyways, when you put that on there, I'm sorry, when you put that on there, I can't get my, it mimics, I'm having a hard time seeing in here too. But anyways, it mimics your, um, your part area, okay? And I may not have put this on all the way right, right now. I think I didn't. Look at Duke. All right. Okay, so here is a Whopper. This is one of the ones I sell. I sell a couple of different kinds. 10 by 10, 10 by 11. Right now I have a lot of 10 by 11s and I like those a lot. Um, so the first thing before you do anything else is you hook it where you want it to be on you. So I'm hooking it right there and I'm hooking it right there. And that's what really keeps it on your head with this comb right here. Really nice, sorry. This is the only way I can figure to um, show y'all taping it. So, also, this right here is called Micropore Tape. This is amazing. Um, I like it so much better than scar tape. Somebody else was posting about it. I tried it. Absolutely love it. Um, because it has no shine on this side, which is the side that you'll see under here. So, I'm looking for my part area. And the reason that I do this on a... Whopper is not even as much to make my um, scalp, even though I have darker hair under here. I've always been a blonde, but I've started going darker as I'm older, darker gray or whatever. <laughs> Everything is what is happening. And anyways, I put it on here because no shine tape actually still has a shine on it. And if you have this here in your part area, you don't see the shine. And that's what's amazing. Okay, so now, did that. And now I'm gonna put my tape on. And I will talk to you about the tape in a minute. But see, this is no shine. It says no shine. This is my favorite. This one I hate. It will break me out. I will have ooze from source. And Oh, there's another one in here that's really crappy. Here we go. This one, you would think it would be just like this one. It is not, it does not hold very well. It doesn't stick to the to the whopper and it doesn't stick, well, I think it sticks to the head okay, but it doesn't stick to this as well. And that's the test. So I get one piece of this and this is wide enough to where I don't think you'll have any problems with it moving. I was double taping when I was using just this. I would do this and this together to make a wider, so that way it would never move. Now, with this, I go to work out over at Orange Theory, and that's um, Circuit Trent, well, whatever. Anyways, they make you run for 30 minutes. So I get a good sweat going. And this puppy never moves, even in a ponytail. So what I'm doing now is I'm just applying it to my lace front. See, 
You see my lace up there? And that's all I did was apply it right there. And that's how I'm applying it. And in a minute, I will stop and show you how I put it on.